High above in the towering mountains, Frederick and his resilient team faced the daunting task of building a safe haven in this unforgiving new world. The journey had been strewn with challenges, failed attempts, impossible terrains, and the relentless onslaught of natural disasters like unpredictable lightning storms and earthquakes. However, amidst the setbacks, the group's unwavering spirit led them to a discovery. A place where the mountain peaks touched the sky became the canvas for their ambitions. They decided to build a self-sustaining civilization, a sanctuary amidst the chaos of the merged dimensions. With lessons learned from past failures, they employed a combination of human ingenuity and interdimensional knowledge to construct a fortress high above the tumultuous landscapes. The new civilization became a testament to collaboration, blending the skills and expertise of both humans and their interdimensional allies. In this lofty refuge, the exchange of knowledge was not a one-way street. Humans eagerly shared their experiences, traditions, and technological prowess, while their interdimensional friends reciprocated with insights from their own worlds. The language that emerged was a harmonious blend, a fusion of human tongues and otherworldly dialects. As the self-sustaining civilization thrived, diverse structures emerged, resilient against the unpredictable nature of the merged world. Gardens and farms flourished, utilizing both earthly and alien techniques for cultivation. The architecture echoed the fusion of cultures, creating a unique blend that spoke to the shared history of survivors from different dimensions. Life in this mountain refuge was an adventure in itself. The community lived in harmony, navigating the challenges of the merged world with a spirit of cooperation. The mingling of traditions, the sharing of stories around the communal fire, and the blending of cuisines painted a picture of a civilization that embraced diversity in every aspect. Yet, mysteries lingered in the shadows. The merged world held secrets that eluded understanding. Strange phenomena occurred, from peculiar lights in the sky to echoes of distant roars that sent shivers down spines. Frederick, ever the seeker of knowledge, organized exploration missions to unravel the enigmas that surrounded their elevated home. The adventurers, equipped with a mix of human and interdimensional technology, ventured into the uncharted territories of the mountainous landscape. Each expedition unraveled new wonders and posed fresh questions, keeping the spirit of discovery alive. In the elevated sanctuary they named Elysium Heights, the challenges of building a new civilization unfolded with every sunrise. Frederick and his team faced the monumental task of not only constructing a haven amidst the merged dimensions but also managing the delicate balance between the various beings that sought refuge within its walls. The rescue missions became a lifeline, a constant endeavor to save those stranded and endangered in the tumultuous landscapes beyond Elysium Heights. Each soul rescued brought new stories, diverse backgrounds, and skills that became integral threads in the fabric of the burgeoning civilization. The settlement, a harmonious blend of human and interdimensional residents, prospered against the odds. Gardens and fields flourished, providing sustenance through methods both earthly and otherworldly. The architecture, an embodiment of unity, stood tall against the backdrop of the ever-shifting merged world. However, challenges loomed on the horizon. Inner disputes simmered, fueled by the clash of cultures, perspectives, and the strain of survival. The adventurers who once stood united now found themselves mediating conflicts, striving to maintain peace within the walls they had built. Beyond the harmonious facade of Elysium Heights, the monstrous world persisted. Creatures from the merged dimensions lurked, their roars echoing in the distance. The adventurers, once focused on exploration, now grappled with the responsibility of safeguarding their haven against the relentless onslaught. Frederick and his team, burdened with the weight of leadership, struggled to manage the growing complexities. The once shared vision of rebuilding and thriving now faced the harsh reality of dissent and external threats. Each decision became a delicate dance, attempting to appease both the humans and interdimensional beings, forging unity from the fragments of their differences. Amidst the internal challenges, an ominous force grew outside Elysium Heights. A destructive power, an amalgamation of the monstrous entities that roamed the merged world, threatened to engulf the haven they had worked tirelessly to construct. A palpable tension hung in the air, 
a foreshadowing of an impending storm that could unravel the heaven they had so earnestly built. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows on the walls of Elysium Heights, Frederick and his team stood at a crossroads. The struggle to manage their newfound responsibilities, to mediate disputes, and to shield the haven from the encroaching darkness intensified. The resilience that had brought them this far would be tested, and the adventurers would need to draw upon every ounce of strength, unity, and ingenuity to weather the storms that brewed both within and beyond their haven. The journey to rebuild, it seemed, had become an unending quest, a tale of survival in a world where every sunrise brought new challenges and every nightfall whispered the secrets of a looming, unseen threat.